Bengal, we will stay the order of the West Bengal and record Tamil Nadu to provide security. Uh, 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 breaking, a uh, big breaking news coming in uh, Poonam for our viewers as well. The West Bengal government's uh, ban has been uplifted by the topmost group of the country. The Chief Justice of India says that the, uh, the challenge to the final judgment uh, of uh, uh, in fact, you know, uh, the Madras High Court, which wherein uh, the CBFC certification of the film has been challenged, is going to be listed after vacations. But at the moment, the ban on uh, that has been levied by the West Bengal government has been lifted. The Chief Justice of India clearly says that we will stay the order of the West Bengal government and record that Tamil Nadu will have to provide security. So, uh, and that's the big breaking news uh, that we are getting are for our viewers here on CNN News 18. Setback coming to the fore for the West Bengal government. The arguments that were put forth by the government of why this ban was legit, that has not uh, seemed to have found merit, at least as of now, in the Supreme Court. Anusha, my colleague, also joining us uh, to get us more perspective, Ananya continues to be with us. Uh, Anusha, there were several arguments that were made back and forth. The point of contention was specifically on that 32,000 figure. Before now, the bench has uh, agreed that that ban should be lifted. Ananya pointed out that uh, West Bengal, the manner in which the state had officially went ahead, put out a notification and banned the movie that has been lifted by the Supreme Court of India. Despite certain questions coming in from the Chief Justice of India, whether there are parts in the movie which vilify a particular community, those concerns were raised by Mr. Kapil Sibyl. Well, here is how you understand this order, uh, Puna. The, the threshold to ban a piece of art and cinema is very high if you look at judicial precedence and law in this country. Just because a particular section of people feel that a particular fact is disputed in the movie that cannot be the sole ground to ban a movie in the state. At the same time, the state government, when they provided those intel reports or when they gave the reasons as to why a particular movie is being banned, it was abundantly clear that the more, the evidence on record was no it was not so important or it was not so heavy in nature that the Supreme Court is convinced with it. In fact, the Supreme Court went on to say that just because a bunch of people, about 13 people, do not like the movie, you cannot go ahead and ban it. If people have emotions which are against this movie, they can choose not to watch it, but a state government doesn't have a right to ban it. This is a clear indication from the Supreme Court of India that whatever the story is and whichever political side may like it or dislike it, the law of the land is same for everyone, which is freedom of expression, making movies, art and cinema is, is covered under fundamental rights. And unless there are very strong and plausible grounds, it cannot be banned. Now, that being said, the entire contention of the West Bengal government or the other petitioners before the court that this is an effort in some way to vilify the community that is not completely done away by the court. The court will look at all these aspects in the next date of, of hearing. But right now, it's a critical time for the movie. It is being released in different parts of the country. It's losing on business. And prima facie, the court did not find any kind of ground to ban this movie. And hence, this order has come out. And the onus now lies on the state government to ensure that there is enough security that is provided that is uh, that holds true not just for uh, West Bengal but even for Tamil Nadu where there was a de facto ban so to say where the government said that we haven't placed a ban uh, on the movie but it's just that uh, filmmakers, the multiplex owners are the ones that do not want to showcase this. Now the onus is also on the state government of Tamil Nadu to ensure that that movie is screened in every single multiplex without any security threat hanging over the multiplex owners. Arunima also is on this broadcast with me. Ananya and Anusha continue to be with us. And Arunima, big relief there coming to the fore. Uh, diktat being sent to both those states of West Bengal and Tamil Nadu. That's for me, yeah? Arunima, go ahead. Yeah, so, uh, you know, what, what was being made very clear by the Supreme Court and by the Chief Justice of India is that, uh, you know, people in this country have a constitutional right. They have that freedom uh, to speech and expression. If you don't like something, don't watch it. But you can't prevail upon somebody else's right uh, to freedom of speech and expression. You can't force somebody uh, to see or not see uh, a work of fiction. Uh, yes, there were some concerns raised about the figures that were being mentioned in the film, uh, to which Harish Salve said that we will put out a disclaimer uh, from the side of the filmmakers. Uh, but all in all, the sum total of what the CGI said was that, you know, if there is a law and order problem, it is the onus is on the state to ensure that the law and order is taken care of. So in the case of Tamil Nadu, for example, if there was any indirect, uh, you know, attempt to prevail upon the, the, the theatre owners, um, that also has been clearly said by the Supreme Court uh, that you, you will have to ensure that if there's a law and order issue, you take care of it. Tamil Nadu, I think, played it a little more smartly by saying that the theatre owners themselves have taken it down for reasons of economy since there was not much viewership. Uh, but West Bengal came in for a lot of flack for its decision to ban it, citing intelligence, citing law and order, uh, citing the Maharashtra situation, as we saw. 
but the Supreme Court was not impressed. And the Supreme Court also made it clear that the bench will have to uh, watch the film before they make any further decisions as far as the CBFC certification is concerned. That is something that will be listed for after the vacations. Before now, there is big relief coming to the fore because there is uh, a temporary decision that has come to the fore from uh, the Supreme Court and that is that the ban that was placed by the West Bengal government that needs to be lifted immediately and the state of Tamil Nadu will have to provide security in every single theatre or multiplex where this film has to be screened or will be screened after this ban has been lifted. Ananya, several of these arguments uh, have been made back and forth. The hearing has gone on for a while before the CGI-led bench uh, actually came up to this conclusion. We now know that uh, the issue of the CBFC certification will be listed after vacations. But do we have a timeline of when that's expected to happen? Because... Uh, the legal hurdle for the filmmakers, for the producers of this film, is likely to continue. You know, a uh, uh, legal hurdle would definitely continue for uh, the owners of this uh, particular movie. But at the same point of time, we have to remember uh, that this is the top. Sorry most to interrupt the you there, Anil. I'll come back Steve, to you. But uh, the TMC is actually addressing the media. A reaction because such stories also provoke. Moreover, in even in Kerala, there was a litigation because they had mentioned in the teaser of the trailer that there are 32,000 such girls. So Kerala High Court had also asked the film director if they are there 32,000 uh, 32, girls, he said no, it's a story of three girls. So there was one big di discrepancy out there. See, it's still been challenged there. Now the point is that as an administrative head, she is supposed to look after the law and order and she will take the call on the matter in the best interests of the state. For that matter, I can even cite you an example that following this Kerala uh, story was banned even in UK. So this is where it will be banned, where it will be released, what is the intention behind it, is the call of that particular state government. This was the very b benign intention of the government. Now he has gone to court, he has the uh, freedom to go to court. The court also has given a decision on the matter. The rest. Uh, Mamata Banerjee, in the best interest to contain law and order so that there is no reaction to the story or whatever is being filmed, that is why she said it would not be shown out here. It's not really a setback. The Chief Minister of West Bengal took the decision because for her the paramount uh, of paramount importance was the security of the state. That's the defence that is coming to the fore even now from the TMC despite the Supreme Court going on to say that that ban needs to be lifted. Aranya and Arudima, my colleagues, continue to be with us. And Aranya, before I had to interrupt you and switch over to uh, the TMC News Briefing, we were talking about how this is going to be listed again after uh, the vacation of the Supreme Court. The legal hurdle is only going to continue for the filmmakers. Well, you know, uh, now it is somewhere or the other a very, very big relief uh, for the filmmakers because remember that they've already tried to made out a prima facie case that the bank in the state of West Bengal is somewhere or the other not right. And that's the reason why, in fact, the Supreme Court has also lifted that particular ban uh, because the Supreme Court has also realized that the movie is already running across the country and it's only the state of West Bengal and Tamil Nadu where, uh, you know, such kind of uh, a review is coming in or, or certain kind of a ban is being imposed de facto uh, on whether we talk of state of Tamil Nadu or West Bengal but at the same point of time you're um, right that the legal hurdles would continue but at the same point of time it would be a very very small legal hurdle because until July you know uh, the film would already be making a lot of money there would already be uh, uh, even if the certification gets cancelled at some point of time the film already has a good amount of time to actually perform it has been listed in the second week of vacation so already the film has you know a certain kind of time to actually go on and uh, uh, perform at the theatres and we are already seeing that the film is doing good on, on the box office. The numbers are cu uh, currently uh, going going uh, perfectly fine but yes. definitely whether or not the finally the movie would be, uh, the, the CBFC certification would be cancelled or not is something that might be uh, a, a little scary for uh, the, the, the filmmakers of this sure. particular film.